Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In the meshless name of Yahoshua Mashiach, this is Yahweh's servant, Reginald M. Graham. And we're delighted to be able to come to you once again with another message from the Word of Yahweh. This has come out of her, my people, broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. I'm just a voice crying in this end time wilderness, preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 14, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations, and then shall you the end come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that verse is being fulfilled in your very ears on this day. I want to warn you, this broadcast is not for the faint of heart. We bring the truth raw and uncut. If you love truth raw and uncut, you have tuned in to the right broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we don't beat around the bushes. We let the chips fall where they may, and we do not apologize for declaring the truth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into uh, our videos on this day. Ladies and gentlemen, Geno Jennings followers write me continuously in my comment section on both YouTube and TikTok and say that Geno preaches only from the Bible. Everything that he says is right from the Bible. And some says that they follow him with their Bibles while he is preaching. All of that is good. And I agree, Geno preaches from the Bible. I never said that he doesn't uh, preach from the Bible. And it is good that he preaches from the Bible. I preach from the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. I preach from the Bible because the Bible is the word of Yahweh. However, what Geno followers fail to understand and what he doesn't teach his followers is that Satan has attacked the Bible. The King James Bible that Geno and myself uses has nearly 10,000 discrepancies and errors in it regarding the names and titles of the father and his son. In this video, I will reveal them unto you. I don't know why a notable preacher like Geno Jennings won't, to, won't do any research. How can we believe that everything that the European Bible translators did was okay? How can we take their work as reliable, ladies and gentlemen, all as reliable? Geno followers believe because something is in the Bible that it is inspired by Yahweh. Satan utilized the European Bible translators. Satan's desire is to keep the name of the creator in his son hid from the world's population. And Satan has done a masterful job keeping mankind ignorant and illiterate. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 declares, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceives the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Note, it says Satan which deceives the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, Satan has deceived the whole world today. He got the whole world calling the Most High in his son's names and titles, which are artificial and generic names and titles. All of Christendom, the whole Christian church is deceived. Satan has utilized the Roman Catholic Church as the catalyst of this great deception. The majority of Christians call the creator's name Jehovah. Let me read to you what the Encyclopedia Britannica says about the name Jehovah. If you don't take my word, let's see what the, um, the Encyclopedia Britannica says about the name Jehovah. Jehovah, 
an artificial Latinized rendering of the name of the God of Israel. The name arose among Christians in the Middle Ages through the combination of the, the consonants J-H-W-H with the vowels of Adonai. Jews reading the scripture aloud substituted Adonai for the sacred name commonly called the Tetragrammaton. Interestingly, Raimundus, Raimundus Martini, a Spanish monk of the Dominican order, first rendered the divine name Yahweh as Jehovah. This form appeared in his book, Pogia Fandi, published in 1270 CE, over 700 years ago. And time as reform movements developed both inside and outside the Roman Catholic Church, the Bible was made available to the people in general and the artificial name Jehovah became more widely known. In 1611 CE, the King James or Orthodox uh, authorized version of the Bible was published. It used the name Jehovah. We see here that Raimundus Martini, a Spanish monk of the Dominican order of the Roman Catholic Church in 1270 CE created and invented the artificial name Jehovah. However, the European Bible translators, who most were Roman Catholic Church sympathizers, inserted the artificial name Jehovah in your Bibles. The artificial name Jehovah is in the King James Bible seven times. This information is at Geno's and his followers' fingertip. All they have to do is Google it, ladies and gentlemen, go on this search engine. But they choose to embrace a lie. These lies are deeply ingrained in Gino and his followers. They cannot give up this lie. Gino and his followers choose to be willfully ignorant. All I can do is to present this truth and facts, ladies and gentlemen, and information. I can't make or force anyone to receive it. But this truth that I am presenting to Gino, his followers in the world, will witness against them on Judgment Day if they don't repent. Matthew 24 and verse 14, Yahushua declared, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations, and then shall the end come. It is amazing how you can share to Christians documented information and facts, and they still reject it. Gino is not humble enough to tell his followers that he has taught them wrong or that the way he has believed have been wrong. He is afraid, ladies and gentlemen, if he tells them that he has been in error, then his followers may think he is in error in other teachings, which he is. Pride will keep us from growing in knowledge and truth. Pride only stagnate Christians. Pride will cause people to become hardened and set in their ways. When we seek vainglory and the praises and adoration of men, we cannot accept our error. Gino will only become a better minister if he accepts his error and then preach the truth. It won't take anything from him. People will respect him more and put more confidence in him if he can acknowledge his error. James 5 verses 19 through verse 20 declares, Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Religious traditions blinds Christians. Some can present, someone can present the truth to them. But because of religious tradition, 
they reject it. Matthew 15 and 3 declares, but he answered and said unto them, why do you also transgress the commandment of Elohim by your tradition? Matthew 15 and 6, Yahoshua declared, thus have you made the commandment of Elohim a non effect by your tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, religious tradition, that is a powerful Amen. Stronghold, ladies and gentlemen. That is a demon from the pit of hell. Tradition will keep people blind, ladies and gentlemen, and, and keep them from receiving the truth. When people are into their tradition, you can present the facts, information. You can present the truth, ladies and gentlemen. They can see it in black and white, but they will uphold their tradition over the word of Yahweh and over Yahweh's commandments. That's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And so in order for one to receive truth, they must be humble. Yahushua said, except you be converted and become as children, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yahushua said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of Elohim. We're going to make heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. We're going to have to take on a, a, a spirit of a child. We're going to have to take on a teachable spirit, a spirit that we can uh, be reproved, rebuked, uh, a spirit that we can be taught, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Colossians 2 and 8 says, let no man spoil you through philosophy, through vain deceit, after the traditions of this world. Amen. And the rudiments of this world after the traditions of men and the rudiments of this world, ladies and gentlemen. Satan has done a masterful and splendid job keeping Christians from knowing the creator and his son's true name. Satan don't want us to know the father and the son's true name. Proverbs 30 and 4 declares, who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, almost a hundred percent of the world's population don't know the creator and his son's true sacred names. I have showed you that the creator's name is not Jehovah, but Jehovah is an artificial name created by Raimondus Martini in 1270 CE, a Roman Catholic monk. The creator's true name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahoshua. <clears throat> Isaiah 52 and 5 declares, and my name continuously every day is blaspheme. Listen to that. Anytime you call the Most High out of his name, anytime you call the Most High by an artificial name, anytime you call the creator Jehovah, Lord of God, it is blasphemous. Isaiah 52 and 6 declares, therefore my people shall know my name. <clears throat> Listen, Yahweh want his people to know his name. He don't want you to know him by a nickname, by artificial and generic names, by names that was invented and created by men. Ladies and gentlemen, he don't want you to, to he don't want you to know, uh, he don't want you to know him by an artificial name. Uh, Jehovah and, and titles Lord and God, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah 52 and 6 declares, therefore my people shall know my name. Yahweh want us to know his name. Yahweh want us to know his name. Listen, if you have a, a, a relationship with an individual, you have a friend, an intimate relationship, uh, intimate friendship, don't, don't you want to know that person's name, ladies and gentlemen? That's why Yahushua said, depart from me, ye that work as iniquity. I know you're not. Yahoshua didn't know them. They didn't know his name, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doeth speak. Behold, it is I. 
I am trying to reveal to Christians and Gino and his followers the Father's true sacred name. Note here in Isaiah 52 and 6, Yahweh's people shall know his true and sacred name. Hosea 2 and 16 declares, And it shall be at that day, says Yahweh, that thou shalt call me Ishai, and shall call me no more Bala. Ishai translates to my husband or my father. Yahweh said, At that day you shall call me no more Bala or Baal. If you look in a dictionary under the word Baal, it is defined as Lord. The title Lord derived from the Phoenician, the, uh, the title Baal derived from the Phoenician and Canaanite god Baal, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say that again. The title Lord derived from the Phoenician and Canaanite god Baal. Yahweh said in Hosea 2 and 16 that his people shall call him no more baal or Baal, which translate to Lord. Lord is not his name. Lord is a title. But we shall call the Most High by his true sacred name, Yahweh. Not Lord or God. God was an ancient Teutonic or Germanic people deity. God spelled backwards is dog. This stuff have been deeply ingrained and, and embedded in us right out of our mother's womb. I know it's going to be hard for most to give up this mess. Gino could help a lot of people if he give this artificial, false, counterfeit, and generic name and titles Jehovah Lord and God up and teach the true sacred name. He can help a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, if he will humble himself. He knows he's in error, but that's, this is this apostolic Pentecostal doctrine that been uh, embedded in him from a youth. He grew up in the apostolic faith. He called himself holiness, but they apostolic. He grew up and he was indoctrinated in this, 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 this tradition. And it's hard to get it out of him now, ladies and gentlemen, because he's been pumped up. People have exalted him. People have promoted him. They have uh, given him accolades. They have applauded him, ladies and gentlemen, and it went to his head. Now, he can never, amen, see himself being wrong, ladies and gentlemen, before the people. Look at these major discrepancies that the European Bible translators inserted in your Bible. Exodus 3 and 15. Listen what it says. And God said, moreover, unto Moses. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God, artificial titles, of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. This is what the European translators ins inserted in your Bible. Have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Matter of fact, name uh, 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 is not a title. Lord and God are titles. They're not a name. How can his name be Lord God, ladies and gentlemen, throughout all generations? How can Lord and God be a memorial to all generations? generations, ladies and gentlemen. How can Lord God, ladies and gentlemen, be his name forever? That's a lie. Let me show you how it should have been read. Let me read it in the right amen context. Ladies and gentlemen, Exodus 3 and 15, and Elohim said moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, Elohim of your fathers, Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is how it should have been printed in your Bibles by the European translators. Look at these discrepancies. Look at these blunders in your Bible, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if a person really sincerely want to know the truth, they accept this. They will accept this. These people got a fighting spirit. They defiant, rebellious, stubbornness, stubborn, obstinate. Bible say rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as idolatry and iniquity. They are obstinate. I mean defiant, rebellious, and stubborn individuals. They, they hold on to this stuff. They won't let it go. It's embedded. It is ingrained in them, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it was embedded and in, ingrained in them out of their mother's womb. And it's hard for them to give it up. It was hard for me to give it up. It wasn't easy, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I grew up Roman Catholic. I was an altar boy, ladies and gentlemen, and the whole nine yards. I grew up a Roman Catholic, so I know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah 42 and 8. Here is another major blunder by the European Bible translator. It declares, I am the Lord. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Now, let me show you how it should have been printed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yahweh. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Now, in your Bible, in most of y'all Bibles, in the King James Bible, and most of your Bibles say, I am the Lord, that is my name. Now, the title Lord is not a name. Lord is a title, it's not a name. Is a title is not a name. So th this is a lie. If you read it, you would think actually that his name is Lord. Because that's what the Bible says. But these are errors. These are discrepancies. These are blunders that the European translators put in your Bible. And, and they tell me that I'm wrong, that I'm a devil. <clears throat> I'm causing division in the body of Christ because I tell people these truths. I'm a hater. I'm jealous. I'm a maniac. I'm a fanatic because I'm telling people Amen. The truth, ladies and gentlemen. Look, yeah, yeah, most of your people have an eighth grade education. Most of y'all have an eighth grade education. I know it. Now, you know that Lord is not a name. Listen to what it says again. Isaiah 42 and 8. Ladies and gentlemen, look, look at this discrepancy. <clears throat> it declares, I am the Lord. That is my name. Come on, y'all people. Come on, y'all. Yahweh didn't give you that head. Amen up there for a hat rat. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. And most people, amen, ladies, they don't use this canagin up here. They don't use the head, ladies and gentlemen. It says, I am the Lord, that is my name. That's impossible. Yahweh's name ain't Lord. That's not a name. I'm a man. That's not my name. That's my title. I'm a man. But my name is Reginald Maurice Graham. <clears throat> Glory to Yahweh. The, the, the name Lord is not, I'm sorry, the title Lord is not a name or the word Lord is not a name. It should have been read, I am Yahweh, that is my name. Then the name Jesus, as we try to wrap this up. Then the name Jesus was invented in the 16th century by the Roman Catholic Church. The name is less than 500 years old. The name Jesus is less than 500 years old. And it is a Greco-Roman or Greek Latin name. I know in, the book, in, in your Bible it says in Matthew chapter 21, amen, Matthew 1 and verse 21, rather, it says, and his name shall be called Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, -S, that's in your Bible, for he shall save his people from, his, from their sins. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, it couldn't have been Jesus because there's no letter J in the Hebrew or the Greek alphabet. His name couldn't have been Jesus. They, the translators put that there. 
the name Jesus is not a translation from the name Yahoshua. You see no resemblance. There's no resemblance, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the name Jesus in Yahoshua. No resemblance whatsoever. Matter of fact, pronouns cannot, proper nouns rather, proper nouns cannot be translated. Yahweh name is a proper noun. How can you translate it? Yahoshua name is a proper noun. Cannot be translated. You can't translate Yahweh's name to Jehovah or Lord of God. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot translate the name uh, Yahoshua Mashiach to Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no letter J in the Hebrew or Greek alphabet. <clears throat> the name Jesus derived from the compound name Isus, which translates to Hail Zeus. E the, 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 the name Isus is a compound word, I-E-S-U-S, -S, or I-E-S-O-U-S, okay? I-E is translated to Hail. S-U-S in Isus is translated to Zeus, or S-O-U-S is translated to Zeus. So, Isus, hail Zeus, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. The name Jesus derived from the compound name Isus, which translates to hail Zeus. When the first Bibles were printed, the name Jesus were not in them in the 15th century. But the name Isus, the letter J was invented in 1524 CE. After the letter J was invented in the 16th century, the name Jesus gradually replaced the name Isus. The name Jesus was not printed in the first 1611 edition King James Bible, but Isus instead. Now, in John 4 and verse, uh, John 5 rather, in verse 43, Yahushua said this, I come in my father's name and you receive me not, but another shall come in, in his own name and him shall you receive. Now, Yahoshua came in his father's name. In his father's name. We find in the book of Psalms, amen, the poetic name or short name of, of, of Yahweh is Yah, ladies and gentlemen. It says in Psalms 68 in verse 4, extol him who rides upon the heavens by his name, Yah. So Yahoshua came in his father's name. Yahoshua. Yahweh is salvation, ladies and gentlemen. So we know Jehovah is an artificial name, ladies and gentlemen. So how can his name be Jesus if he came in his father's name? Where are you going to get amen? There's no J. In the Hebrew, ladies and gentlemen, how are you going to get Jesus from Yahweh? How can Jesus come in his father's name? Because the Messiah's name was not Jesus, but it was Yahoshua, Yah. That's the father's short name. Hallelujah. When we give Yahweh the highest praise. Hallelujah. Not hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, Yahoshua, the Messiah, came in his father's name. Remember, Yahoshua said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, he declared, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Listen, everywhere you go in the world, they accept the name Jesus. Muslims accept the name Jesus. Buddhists accept the name Jesus. Hindus accept the name Jesus. Everybody embrace the name Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, but the Bible tells us that which is esteemed highly before man is abomination in the sight of Yahweh. All over the world, the name Jesus is esteemed highly. 
They love the name Jesus. What that tell you? What that tell you that if everybody, all Christians, everybody embraced the name Jesus? Hmm? But what about Yahushua? Oh my goodness. Yahushua said, you shall be hated for my name's sake. Not Jesus, but Yahushua. When you preach and teach Yahushua, friend, you're going to be hated of all men. People going to hate you. Listen, I never experienced the hate that I'm experiencing now since I've been dealing with the sacred names on YouTube. I never been hated as much as I've been hated since I've been exposing Geno Jennings false teachers. I never because I'm preaching the name. Man, I tell you, them demons and Geno Jennings followers, them devils, them people full of hell. Man, I'm agitating. I'm annoying them demons. My, I'm, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they coming unsaddled and they can't handle this truth. This is why they send these blasphemous, derogatory, ladies and gentlemen, and disgusting and hateful comments to me, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm irritating them devils in them. But some of them getting free, ladies and gentlemen. Not all Geno Jennings followers, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be ensnared and stay in those prison houses. The Bible tells us he that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. But the Bible tells us in the book of, uh, of 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18, they that was clean escaped from them that lived in error. Ladies and gentlemen, let me read this to you in the book of Proverbs. Bless Yahweh. I think that's Proverbs chapter 21 and verse number 16. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, look what it says. The man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. They're going to remain with Geno Jennings and those dead congregations, ladies and gentlemen, and those dead congregations. The Bible says, amen, the dead can't praise Yahweh, ladies and gentlemen, and glory to Yahweh. We are lively stones, glory to Yahweh. But these people are in congregations of the dead. Why do you seek for the living amongst the dead? Because they wandered out of the way of understanding. You can present truth. Tell them to go to, to Google this information that I'm giving them. Tell them to do their research. Go to the Britannica Encyclopedia. They won't do it. And many of them, they look at my titles and they already judge me, ladies and gentlemen. They judge me and criticize me before even listening to my videos. And they don't even listen to the videos and they write these derogatory, hateful, mean-spirited, amen, comments, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. But if they would just take the time to listen to me, which they are taught, don't listen to no other, no other preacher. Geno Genesis, teach, he's the only one. He's the man of God, ladies and gentlemen. That's what he teaches indirectly. If he don't say it directly, he does it indirect. Ain't nobody else preaching the truth but me. And that's what many of his uh, followers comment me. They write me in my comment section and say he's the only one preaching the truth. He's the only one preaching against sin. He, can you imagine that? You know that's a brainwashed individual. Huh? They've been okie doke, ladies and gentlemen. That's an individual that have been bamboozled. Ladies and gentlemen, they went for the okie dokie. They went for the okie dokie. Glory to Yahweh to believe that. That's a cult. I'm trying to help the people. If I can't help Gino, maybe I can help some of y'all in his congregation. Thank you. And I'm, I'm grateful for the people that found out that he was a false teacher and they left his ministry. I'm grateful for that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a blessing. But you need to go on. Don't stop. Amen. Yahushua said in the book of uh, John chapter 8, verse 81, uh, verse 31, rather, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Then in verse 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. 
The Bible says in 2 uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 18, they that was clean escaped from them that lived in error. Listen, Yahushua said in Matthew 10 and 22, ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You ain't hated for the name of Jesus. Everybody embraced Jesus. Catholics, are they, they embraced Jesus. The, the Unitarian, the faggot churches, the homosexual churches, they embrace Jesus. Everybody embrace Jesus. What they tell you? They won't embrace Yahushua. They won't embrace Yahushua. Glory to Yahweh. Ain't that amazing? Glory to the Mormons embrace Jesus. The Jehovah Witness embrace Jesus. They all embrace Jesus, but not Yahushua. They hate. Yahoo. And you know the Jehovah Witness. Ooh, they love the name Jehovah. Jehovah Witness. Jehovah. An artificial. They made a religion around an artificial name. All they got to do is go into the um, Encyclopedia Britannica and it'll tell you. And Freemasons. <coughs> Freemasons, ladies and gentlemen, founded the Jehovah Witness Church. But these cults are some. Joseph Smith was a Freemason. That started the Mormon church. All of these are white supremacist churches. That's all they are, white supremacist churches. Ladies and gentlemen, white supremacist churches. Just recently, they started allowing black people to join their groups, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing. The generic and artificial names and titles Jehovah is inserted seven times in your Bible. The name Jesus is inserted 800, 983 times. <clears throat> the title Christ is inserted in your Bible 516 times. <clears throat> the name Lord or title Lord rather is inserted in your Bible 7,000 times. In the title, God is inserted in your Bible 1,317 times. Look at all these discrepancies, nearly 10,000 discrepancies in the King James Bible, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh in the King James Bible. Well, I see my time has got away, ladies and gentlemen. We thank Yahweh for you. Um, we appreciate all our friends. We thank Yahweh what he's doing. Thank Yahweh the word is getting out, ladies and gentlemen. The word is getting out. People are being challenged. Amen. We're stirring up the devil. Amen. We're not intentionally trying to. We're ruffling a lot of feathers. Paul said in Galatians uh, 4 and 16, have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth i've made a lot of enemies ladies and gentlemen i have made a lot of enemies probably the most hated preacher online today but we thank yahweh for the truth and ladies and gentlemen we appreciate yahweh for each and every one of you if you will we would really appreciate if you would like share and subscribe if you would like share and subscribe we would really appreciate that very much well until next time may yahweh continue to bless you and smile on you is our prayer shalom, shalom.